Hey y'all, it is June the uh, 11th, 2018. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate all y'all out there, um, especially the, the people who've been here for a while, but especially the people also who are new to this channel. <clears throat> I wanted to holler at y'all real quick about something that is simply amazing. Uh, simply amazing. I thought I would share it with y'all. But before I do, I wanted to thank everybody out there. Uh, uh, like I said, I appreciate y'all, but I wanted to thank everybody out there uh, who has been thanking me on uh, especially my recent videos regarding Parkland, uh, Nicholas Cruz, and how things, all sort of things, don't add up. All right. People are uh, thank me. People are coming out of the woodwork. You could tell from my perspective, looking at the internet and studying things the way that I do, you could tell that a great deal of people are not only uh, have been interested in this case, but a lot, a lot of people are becoming interested in this case and how suspect that it is. All right. That being said, you know, I was doing a little research last night and I came across this video, like I said, it's simply amazing, all right? And so I'm here to share it with y'all. <clears throat> As you can tell, this video in particular only has 11 views, so chances are you have not seen it yet, all right? It's breaking news for everybody. In fact, this video just came out on yesterday, all right? So without further ado, I bring to you who's probably who is more than likely the youngest, the absolute youngest of all the uh, fr uh, free net cruisers or for all the people who are suspicious and skeptical of this case. Here's probably the youngest person on the internet. So without further ado, uh, check her out. Here's Killer Gamer. Hey guys, any of you heard of the Parkland, Florida shooting with Nicholas Cruz? Well, the truth is, it was kind of his fault and it kind of was not. Because he had autism, autism spectrum disorder, which causes a lot of bullying and stuff like that. And it wasn't his fault because I have autism and I had a lot of random outbursts. And I've had thoughts of doing that before. I have before many times. And it's not his fault that he has outbursts. He wants to be good, but he can't. Because of every, all the people that are, bully, that are bullying him, you would call him like a dumbass and a loner and loser. And he... I know that this is shocking to you that might be watching this have a family member that was in that. But they, it should be the ones that were bullying him that should be in jail. Because they were the ones that caused this. And I know this is not usually what I talk about, like death and stuff like that. And this is a shock, but you all need to know the truth. He is not a bad guy. And you all should know that. He is just like us. With just with a few disabilities. I have friends with disabilities. We all have disabilities. All of us have disabilities. Like some might have reading problems. Some might have spelling, math, and stuff like that problems. We all have disabilities. His disability was being bullied and being autistic. It's not his fault. You all should know that he should be, the boy should be the one in jail. They caused this situation. You can see that I am angry about this. He should not be in jail. It should be the boys. They caused this. This bleeping, mother bleeping bleeper. Those bleeping boys are mother bleeping. Are bleeping to try to bleeping hurt him and ruin his bleeping life. It's not his fault. He should be out of jail. It's not his fault. The boys should be the one in jail. They caused this situation. 
All right, y'all. Absolutely amazing. All right. Remarkable, I think. Exceptional. So, uh, killer gamer. I do suggest everybody, you know, go over and see what see what the kind of things she's talking about, and subscribe to her channel. And I do also suggest uh, to be very respectful. All right, this is a little girl starting a, a YouTube channel. All right, but like I said, remarkable. Uh, you know, her message um, <clears throat> just cuts right to the point. Cuts right to the heart of the matter. All right. Now, a lot of us are figuring out out there that this case does not add up. All right, something's not sitting right. All right, something, all sort of things aren't making sense. All right, and this this girl right here, for as young as she is, she had a gut instinct. You know, she took one look at this case and realized, well, something's not right about this. It's not making sense. Right? And there's a lot of people who are much older than her right now who are not getting it. All right, They're not getting the heart of the matter in which this uh, little girl points out very clearly. Now, uh, <clears throat> I, I will have to say this, you know, as far as people with autism, the, myself, my daughter included, all right, uh, as well known on this channel, you know, I wouldn't... I wouldn't necessarily, if Nicholas Cruz did shoot up the whole school, you know, I technically, I would still want him in jail. I mean, if we're going to have jails, right? But there's more and more and more and more people who are seeming to believe that maybe, perhaps, and probably Nick Cruz had nothing to do with this shooting that took place. I mean, people as young, young as this little girl are seeing the holes in this story. We're seeing that it does not make sense. All right, there's more and more of us. Um, I just wanted to point out, you know, something that I've been pointing out for a while is that bullying, it really is the problem here. Right? And there's all sort of... It's all sort of reasons why bullying takes place, all right? And I think it's important to note that we have some bullies from Parkland, the school, the people that we're talking about, the people, all the people who bullied Nate Cruz, all right? And there's a lot of people out here who are not seeing the evidence that Nick Cruz shot up the school and all those people. We're wondering who did it. We're, we're sincerely wondering who did it. All right. Meanwhile, you have people, and I forget all their names, you know. God bless these people. They feel a certain way. David Hogg and, you know, Emma Gonzalez. All right. They feel a certain way about guns, and that's their right. They're anti-gun. And that is their right. They should, they definitely have the right to be anti-gun. However, their tactics are very, they're very much in the nature of bullying. All right. For example, lying down on the grocery store floor and throwing a tantrum and just laying there and playing dead. That is a sort of bullying. They're doing it on the grocery store. They're bullying all sort of people simply for having different ideas political ideas, all right? Because these people have different ideas, David Hogg and his friends, they, they seem to think that it's acceptable to go ahead and bully all sort of people, all sort of businesses, and they continue to do it. Their bullying behavior, which very well led to this incident, if this incident did happen that way, all right, they're still they're still carrying on in their bullying behavior. They continue to bully everybody. All right, and I think that's notable, and we're going to talk about that assuredly more and more as things develop. I'd like to thank everybody out there, to include K the Killer Gamer, and thank you for the shout out. And I would like to thank everybody out there who's new to the channel and who's old to the channel, man. I appreciate all y'all, and I'm gonna have to holler at y'all a little bit later. It's June the 11th, 2018.